Hey, I'm Justin, and this is The Art of Repair. Today we'll be going over screwdriver preparation basics. Knowing as much as possible about the tools you use outside of just using them will give you a better fundamental understanding of what else you can do with them and their limitations. One thing that I want to make sure to go over as we start to delve into these fundamentals is that we live in the macro and we work in the micro. Anything that we do to these small devices is the equivalent of a skyscraper giving you a high five. Now burn that into your head because this tip alone is gold and will take you one more step closer to mastering the art of repair. There are a few things you need to look at when you start using a new screwdriver that will determine how long it lasts and how well it will perform for you. First things first, let's go ahead and take a look at the end of the bit itself. It's very important to have even full bits. When you are working in the micro and you live in the macro, it's very easy to accidentally turn with too much force and strip a screw. So having a solid bit that won't slip is absolutely essential. Next, we'll take a look at the body and see if the screwdriver is straight. All the tools you use are mass produced and I promise you, nobody cares or takes the time to look and see if the thing is 100% aligned straight. You can check this by rotating the screwdriver in your palm or on a table to watch and see if it spins straight or has a wobble to it. This will lead into our next screwdriver pre-check test. And to me, this is the most important one of all, the bearings themselves. Do they grind? Do they move in increments or is it smooth like butter? Or does it feel loose and wobbly from the jump? All of these things are indicators to the condition of your tool and each of them can have a profound effect on your craftsmanship over time. If your bit is chewed up, you're gonna strip screws. If your tool isn't straight, you'll be less accurate based on the bend itself and may scrape a board with overzealous turning or improper pressure. And if your bearings are terrible, well, you're just gonna have a terrible time compared to a proper one. It's always good to check in on your tools every once in a while and make sure they're on point. A low quality driver will last you tops one to 200 repairs. And this may not seem bad from a value per repair standpoint, but I have found that properly prepped drivers last me well over 500. In fact, I have one right now about to hit 2,000 repairs and it's still looking fantastic and seems to only get better over time, all thanks to proper preparation and technique. So you may be thinking to yourself, what's this prep work you're talking about? Well, part of it is taking all the drivers you have and inspecting them and throwing out or returning any that aren't 100% on the things that I just went over, that being bit shape, straightness, and proper bearings. Once you have eliminated all the trash drivers, it's time to prep them, which is very simple in itself. All you need to do is check and see what type of driver you're working with. If you're using a plastic driver, my first recommendation would be to move up to a nice solid metal body driver since the plastic ones generally do not last too long regardless of prep work. But if you want to prep your plastic driver, the key is to use the proper type of lubricant in the bearings to give it that extra butter like smooth turn. For plastic, this would be a dry style lube like graphite or molybdenum disulfide type dry lubes. But again, I would recommend moving up to a metal body driver style as these are quite a bit more professional in both appearance and function. If you have a metal body driver, I have found good old three-in-one oil works like magic. Just pour a little bit inside the bearings on the inside and let it get nice and in there. Make sure to clean off the outside of the screwdriver thoroughly after the application to prevent slippage. Now you have an amazingly smooth driver that will be awesome to use and will last so much longer since you have eliminated all the basic defects by getting rid of your bad drivers. So once again, I'm Justin and this is The Art of Repair. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and you're more than welcome to leave some comments down below. See you next time.